All right, let's take a look at this match between Eddie Cummings and Riley Bodycomb. Uh, so uh, at the beginning of the match here, um, you're going to see, let me just pause in this position here. Um, Riley has his hips faced sort of the opposite direction of Eddie Cummings. Um, typically when uh, you, when people try to pass the guard, uh, especially if they don't know that their opponent is uh, really good at leg locks, uh, their hips are more faced toward the opponent, right? They, they want to pass toward. So typically the, the hips would be, you know, in the same sort of, uh, they're parallel with each other. Uh, notice in this case, they're not. Riley's is this way and it's facing that way. And it makes it very difficult for uh, Eddie to pummel in his legs in between between uh, Riley body comes leg. So, uh, you know, if, if they're facing each other, again, Eddie's legs both need to go uh, in between uh, his legs for a typical uh, uh, leg lock entry. Um, <clears throat> But you can see that here Riley's doing a good job of you know playing a defensive posture yet still trying to uh, pass Eddie's guard. So let's continue along here. Um, notice here how he's using this shin on shin guard. I, I use this a lot uh, myself, um, but he's he's doing something a bit different than, than I think most people do here, and it's and it's a very unique. It's actually a very effective entry. Um, he's going to take his right leg and he's going to shoot it in between Riley's uh, or between Riley's legs here now notice the grips that Eddie has he's taking his right hand and grabbing behind let uh, Riley's left calf and you can't really see it here but his right hand or uh, sorry Eddie's left hand is grabbing uh, behind his ankle here so he's got both arms here in play his right arm and his left left arm are grabbing uh, Riley's left leg at the moment. So now what he's going to do is he's going to shoot his right leg uh, in between uh, Riley's legs and his left leg is going to shoot in front of Riley's left leg here. And he's going to use this pulling motion of, of his arms both here and here to get his hips really um, close to his legs. Now watch this here. So notice how he's pulling himself inside. He's using this dragging motion of his arms to get his hips really close uh, to, uh, to Riley's uh, left leg. Now as soon as he does that, uh, Riley's making a good uh, defensive play here and separating his body using his left hand and you know using this sort of momentum this way to get away from uh, Eddie's attack all right now what Eddie's trying to do here is he's trying to take his left leg his left hook here and you know, basically interlace it between uh, Riley's legs and capture his hook on the back of Riley's uh, right leg here notice how he shoots it inside and he's searching He's searching for that hook to capture Riley's uh, left leg. But notice here how Riley's right or his left knee is uh, already sort of over his leg. So it makes it really difficult for uh, Eddie to hold on here. And another, uh, I guess, point that I want to point out here is, uh, and this may be uh, after looking at this tape in its entirety, this may be why uh, Eddie didn't get uh, a really good hold on Riley at this point. Because notice how uh, the left or sorry, his right arm let go of this leg as he shot inside. And so now he doesn't have that grip to hold on to Riley. And we're, we're going to see how that uh, uh, impacts his ability to capture that leg as we move along into, um, into this tape. But uh, I just wanted to point this out so that you can compare it um, to what he does when he actually finally gets Riley. All right, so in this particular case, uh, Riley sees it coming. He's jumping and hopping out as fast as he possibly can to get away from uh, Eddie, and he eventually gets his leg out. Now, uh, eventually what happens is they restart uh, in sort of the same position here, and uh, Eddie's just absolutely relentless at attacking that leg, especially because, uh, you know, Riley's playing this sort of defensive, you know, hip facing the other direction, which makes it difficult for Eddie to pummel his legs. So he's going for this way to, this, this unique method of, of setting up the leg lock here. 
So again, he uh, is grabbing hold of the legs. Let's keep going. Let me continue along. Again, setting up the uh, sh uh, shin guard here. Uh, look at the relentless nature of, of Eddie just constantly attacking, preventing uh, Riley from getting absolutely anything started here. So this is sort of a better position of, of what uh, of how Eddie sets up uh, the hold here now or the entry into this leg lock. So again, Eddie has his right arm grabbing hold of uh, Riley's left leg. Notice how uh, Eddie's going to shift up his right leg here to bring his left arm around towards uh, the ankle here. And now he's got a good hold on Riley's leg. Okay. So as you can see here, uh, you know this is this is actually a really good defense uh, by Riley. Um, I, I've actually hit this entry a few times in sparring matches, and uh, my opponent now, uh, one of my opponents, has figured out how to defend my entry, and uh, and this is exactly what Riley's doing here. Notice how Riley is taking his right arm and pushing down his leg and preventing it from shooting inside. Now that that's a really good defense on making sure that he's not able to enter. Uh, his his leg inside so he's keeping that away but what happens here is notice how at this position he's pushing it away but he's still got a hold of Riley's left uh, leg and now he's able to shoot his right leg through at this position and get a hold of it uh, and, and, and at least try to and Riley does a good job of lifting his left leg out uh, and from this position Riley you know is, is on the retreat mode here so let's continue watching there's not uh, too much action here that I want to cover So they re-engage. Again, notice how Riley is making his hips face the other direction. This is it makes it really difficult for Eddie to do anything other, uh, any other entries than this particular move. So he's consistently going for this particular particular move here. Now I believe he actually hits it here. So I'm going to point out some of the differences from from before. Actually, this is the one he misses. Here we go. All right, we're in this position now. Again, he's relentless. Now, he's as you can see here, he's got his left uh, hand holding uh, his his uh, left leg as well as his right hand here. Okay. Um, now, notice in this particular case, he's really kept of he's he's kept this grip both on the left on the right hand and the left hand and he shoots his hips in and keeps it the whole time all right and this allows Eddie to maintain that control as Riley tries to retreat as he's done before already right so now he's got basically a really tight hole and he's able to shoot this uh, left leg inside here uh, to get that separation here. Now let's, let's go back and watch that again because it's an it's important little detail I think that uh, Eddie uh, performed here to be successful against Riley. In this particular case he's got he's got again he's got a stronghold and doesn't allow Riley's left leg to slip out. Notice how he crunches inside here and he gets up on top of his uh, left shoulder and rotates himself along through in this complete circle. All right, let's do that again. What he didn't do was allow Riley to drag him sort of this direction while maintaining sort of uh, this outside uh, position. He's gonna actually rotate on top of his own left shoulder so that when he, finished rot he fi when he finishes the rotation, he's in a really good position here. All right, let's, let's just watch this one more time. So he's on his left shoulder here. He's got control of his leg. He's being pulled, which makes the rotation a lot easier. He's using his right leg inside. Remember we talked about 
about this right leg capturing uh, behind uh, Riley's uh, right leg. And we end up in this great position now here where his uh, left leg is exposed. So in this position now, what the way that uh, Eddie captures that, that position is he's going to take his left uh, foot and bring it over his hip here. Okay, so now in this position, he's got really good control over Riley's hips, and now he's got both legs in a tight hold. So all really Eddie has to do now is maintain control over Riley's left, uh, Riley's right leg here. All right, so this just uh, to make sure we uh, see that again. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. The rotation allowed. Uh, Riley's right leg to go in this natural position here we can maintain control. That's the key to uh, you know having complete control of the, of the legs here to, to get to, to the ultimate finish. All right one little detail here notice how he's taking uh, Riley's right uh, leg and pushing it underneath his shoulder here that's pretty pretty standard for, for Eddie. Now this position, he's maintaining control, working to get uh, uh, you know as deep as he possibly can. Puts a tight triangle here to get to keep a good hold. Now, I would imagine that he's got a lot of leverage uh, and on this kneecap here because what he definitely doesn't want is Riley to get this knee over. Uh, his right leg so he, he's trying to avoid that so I would imagine there's a lot of torque on this knee coming up into uh, Riley's knee and you can see how Riley's desperately trying to push on that knee to get his left knee uh, out of this hole but uh, he's just unfortunately he's not able to do it because uh, th there's a lot of pressure right now being exerted on that leg Again, look, Riley's pushing really hard to get his get to get his knee out here, which he's unsuccessful at doing. Um, notice how Eddie's, you know, trying to maintain control of the hip, making sure that that knee doesn't pop out. He's also got a good hold over the foot, just you know, again using every uh, possible leverage point that he can. Now, here's where he sets up the finishing move here. So. Right now he knows he has good control over Riley's legs, right? And so what he's doing now is he's making, I'm just trying to get to it. In just, a just a minute here, a little bit farther than I thought. Still trying to get out. Right here, he's looking for the opportunity for the finish here. Okay, so the finish is actually going to come on the reverse heel hook here. All right, so notice what he's doing. Let's back this up. At the right time, when Eddie's ready, he's going to take. Uh, Riley's right leg and he's going to push it over uh, uh, Riley's left foot here so that he can expose the reverse heel hook. So watch, he pushes it over and he brings out the, uh, the left ankle here. So one more time, he's got a, a notice how he's got this hand holding uh, Riley's uh, right ankle to bring it out. So again, his right hand is on uh, Riley's uh, sort of Achilles and he's going to push his left his right ankle over and put uh, his his uh, left ankle into position here and now all he has to do is get a nice hold over that leg and now he's got a good reverse uh, heel hook going on here and the match is over all right guys Hope you like this breakdown.